11.15 a.m. and I just had breakfast, just took, a sh uh, just took a shower, and now I'm thinking about renting a motorbike and or a scooter and driving around town, maybe checking out the beach, uh, seeing the local sites, and there's also a peninsula nearby where I heard you can see monkeys and jungle and things like that. So I'm gonna try and have a little journey today and see what happens. So I'm at Danang Bay right now and it's just beautiful out here. I know I look a little bit goofy in the helmet, but bear with me. So right now I'm about to travel to a peninsula called Tukwang, uh, which is just uh, about 15 kilometers away from here, something like that. It's supposed to be some really cool jungles and some monkeys, so let's go see if we can find some. As you can see, I'm, uh, I'm just getting into the mountains here. I look like a typical tourist, but that's okay. It's not a big deal, the people are really nice here. And I can just hear all the, uh, the birds chirping and uh, random insects, you know, rubbing their wings together or whatever. Just hear that jungle atmosphere. Helmet. The helmet looks really gay, and, and I don't think it's going to provide any protection because the wind keeps knocking it off my head no matter how tight I, I, I put it on there. So screw the helmet, and let's continue our journey. Like a hell cut. serene scene we got people chanting there uh, chanting that Buddhist chant and uh, it sounds just very harmonic if you will and uh, I had to remove my shoes to come in here you know just to honor the gods or whatever kept driving I've kept riding up the the peninsula here I'm at a place called Huang Sa right now and this is just some of the most beautiful blue water that I have ever seen in my life no joke this is just the real deal folks also when the motor bar when the motorbikes aren't riding by it's incredibly quiet you could hear a pin drop except for the uh, the nature and the animals chirping So 
So I'm kind of trailblazing right now. I'm on a road that's about 10 kilometers from that last spot I was at at Huangsa. And now the road has gone from a traditional road to more, uh, more of a beaten path. Ian Young, Ian'sJourneys.com. I travel, I cook, I skate, I live. 